got to get a cornerback. They have no corners on their roster, really. They have a couple young kids that, that played solid for them, but they have a choice. Could be Marlon Humphrey from Alabama. Mel, what do you think? Hey, this would have been the spot for Gary and Conley from Ohio State. Yeah. Cornerback, not played opposite Marshawn Lattimore, had a great year. Now the off the field issue he's dealing with. We'll see where he comes off the board, but this would have been a spot for him. The original bit for Marlon Humphrey. Some think he's the best corner, some think he's the sixth best corner. You got linebackers, you got a pass rush like Derek Barnett there. This fell perfectly, I think, for the Eagles and Colts and the Ravens. Wait, these guys, the OJ Howard at tight end, is somebody going to get a steal with the Alabama tight end. Boy, I really hope this is translating on television because this place is absolutely nuts right now. As soon as they said the Eagles were on the clock, these guys have been screaming at the top of their lungs, and they haven't stopped yet. So the commissioner, we believe, is getting closer to the podium. You mentioned Conley. You mentioned Humphrey. Is there another one of those cornerbacks that you guys really like here? You know, you could just say Ruben Foster is the best player. Oh, you're not kidding. On the board, yeah. What a perfect Philadelphia Eagle he would be. He reminds me a lot of Byron Evans, who was a wrecking machine here just before I came here. But yeah. he's the best player to me left on the board. And I know Baltimore would love to have him. That might be why they moved up to get him. Yeah, for a team that, for a team that needs defense, they got their pick of some real good players here. Let me throw Jadavious White's name out there, too, from LSU. Another good player. The commissioner's on the way. You guys, just enjoy the moment here for the commissioner walking to the podium. This is fantastic. Joining us for the Eagles selection are members of the Martin Luther King High School football team from here in Philadelphia. The team merged four years ago with rival Germantown High School and has become one of the top programs in the area. Coach Dunn, congratulations to you and your team. Okay, with the 14th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Derek Barnett, defensive end. defensive end out of Tennessee, the player who eliminated Reggie White's name from the Tennessee record book for the most sacks, is now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. There you see the record, one more than Reggie White, second all-time in tackles for losses, trailing only Leonard Little. And now it is Derek Barnett's time to shine. The crowd still going crazy as Barnett walks down for the obligatory hug with the commissioner. Let's listen into the moment. And I guess a lot of people here are saying thank you, Howie Roseman, and thank you, Sam Bradford, Mel, because this was the trade that got them this number one pick back to get Barnett. Exactly. You think about production. You mentioned it, Trey. In the SEC, unmatched. I mean, unbelievable week to week with Derek Barnett. was able to watch him here. Anticipates the snap. Boy, he has great hand usage, and he can close despite only having 4.88 speed at the combine. Doesn't have the length, the long arms you would want necessarily. But the way he plays football, the savvy that he has as a defensive end, the way he works these offensive tackles, he schooled these tackles in college. The question is, can he do it in the NFL? Doesn't have the length, as I said. Only that 488 closing speed. But Terrell Suggs only ran a 484 coming out of Arizona State. Terrell Suggs had great production in the Pac-12, like Barnett had in the SEC. That's what you're hoping if you're the Eagle. That he won't just be a great college player who runs into serious resistance in the NFL, which is average and is neutralized. You're hoping he can translate college to the NFL like Terrell Suggs did with the Baltimore Ravens. 
Well, Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator, plays this wide nine defense. They get in these four-point stances, and they get off the ball. They key the ball, and they get off the ball extremely fast, and they disrupt plays. And that's what you see from Barnett. The strength of his game is his quick get off. He's going to get down low in these four point stances, and he's going to win with his stance and his get off. That's where most of his production comes. He can play right defensive end. I've seen him go over to the left side. But when you see 29 of his 33 sacks against SEC opponents, most of them are because of this great get off, Lewis. And it's impressive. This man is relentless. I spent a lot of time in Knoxville. He loves to practice. And when you surpass the Minister of Defense as the all-time sack leader in Knoxville, great pick for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, there's no question that the Philadelphia Eagles believe that they can get value at cornerback here later on in the draft because it's a huge need. But I'll tell you this, if you pair this kid up with Fletcher Cox on the inside, that's one of the ways you can help soften the blow of not having great corners in the back end. If you've got guys who can set sack records like this, who can time up the snap count, play in that nine technique, and get off the rock. So, great pick for them. Derek Barnett, the first defensive player out of Tennessee taken in the first round since Eric Berry went in 2010. That worked out for the Chiefs. The Eagles are loving this, and they're hoping it works out just as well. 